these are going to be some open voicings uh, drill sheets and we're just going to work on the major seventh chord all right now you could do drill sheets for any kind of chord and any formulas uh, but roughly I'm covering two of the formulas with just one type of chord all right so it's a pretty limited study and uh, let's go over the formulas real quick all right I'll just use I'll use the major seventh chord all right if you have the root on top here's the formula one seven three five one all right it's a chord with a lot of dissonance but it can be a very beautiful chord all right and maybe you've practiced this chord through the cycle or maybe you've practiced it this way all right like chromatically um, now, if you have the third on top, the formula changes. One, five down here, three, seven, three. And maybe you've practiced this one through the cycle. Or perhaps you've done it chromatically like this. Okay? Now, if the fifth is on top, the formula is one, five, seven, three, five. You can take it through the cycle. You can do it chromatically. Oops. <laughs> And the one with the seventh, now the seventh is very easy. You just take that formula and change it to the seventh. So one, five, seven, three, seven. Now the two formulas I'm going to work on are either the one with the seventh on top or the third on top. I find these to be the two harder formulas to deal with for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, so there's our two formulas for a C major seventh chord. Now, here's the drill sheet. What I did was is... Uh, you know, I opened, I put a blank page up there. I took my mouse and just started clicking notes. I didn't even really look where they were. And I had to alter a few of them because there's a few notes that just aren't going to appear in a major seventh chord. Um, but anyway, I got it all worked out. And then I went back through and just decided to call a note either the third or the seventh. All right, so look, we've got the first note up there is A, and the chord says F major seventh. So you have to, in your mind think, well, is that the third or the seventh? Well, it's the third, so our formula, one, five, three, seven, three, okay? Now the next chord, there's a C, and it says D flat major seventh, so that's, that's not the third, it's the seventh, so one, five, seven, three, seven, like that, okay? The next one, G flat major seventh, we've got an F there, that's also the same formula, one, five, seven, three, seven, and I got a bad one up here, <laughs> C flat major seventh. But hey, you're going to run into this chord. You will. Yes, you will. So you know you could think of it as a B chord. But there's the one for C. There's the one for C flat. And you know, in a lot of keys, you, you really ought to call. If you're in the key of G flat and you go to the four chord, that's the four chord, C flat major seventh. It's pretty easy to tell if it's the third or the seventh. What's kind of harder to do is how to set your right hand, because if the seventh's on top, you've got this kind of shape, right? If the third is on top, then you've got this kind of shape. So, you know, you've got to go, you've got to, you're going to be switching back and forth between those two kind of shapes. So here's the drill sheet. I'll let it scroll on the bottom. Oh, I'll set my metrodome to uh, 120 and give myself four beats on each chord. Now sometimes the chord may seem a little low, in which case you're allowed to leave out the doubled note and bring up the, up the left hand. I think this one's fine the way it is. All right, E flat major, third on top, seventh on top, third on top, seventh on top. It, you know, it occurs to me that you know, if I'm doing third on top, I should use my third finger. <laughs> And if I'm doing seventh on top, I should use my second finger. But, you, you know, everybody has their own way of doing things, so don't worry too much about that. All right, let's see, where were we? Uh, let's just start on line three and let it rip here, all right? And uh, I'm going to make it three beats for each chord. One, two, three. There's a low one. All right, now, another good way to do these is don't look down at the keyboard, you know, just keep your eyes on the chart so you don't get lost, and then you'll make some mistakes. Oops, like that one. Oh, 
Oh, that's a tough one there. F sharp major seventh with E sharp as the, as the melody note. That's technically correct. That's why I usually see this G flat major seventh, not F sharp major seventh. But, um, you know, it might happen. Low one. Another low one. I could do this like that or maybe like this. Yeah, really, you can get pretty low with these. They sound fine. I'm going to do a bunch of these drill sheets for you, um, but here's what you want to do. You want to make your own drill sheets because as you practice through them, you're going to find chords that, that you mess up on, you know, something you can't think of faster. So do another drill sheet and put more of those type of chords on that drill sheet and leave off some of the easier ones. And uh, that way you kind of tailor them to your own weaknesses and you get stronger. Yes, you do. All right, anything else we could use this air thing for? Uh, let's see. Mm -mm. Mm. Well, and uh, have fun practicing it. And, you know, I would say, you know, if you've never done this before, I've done this a lot, so uh, if you've never done this before, you set your metronome down here on like 60-something, and you take a long time, one, two, three, four. Uh, you might not even be able to use the metronome. You might just have to turn it off and really take your time and figure out each one. If they're too hard, though, for you, then maybe you don't know your just basic chords well enough, like F major, D flat, G flat, C flat. Maybe you haven't taken them through the cycle like this, you know, and learned them that way. And maybe I haven't either. <laughs> All right, so anyway, um, that's it for the first drill sheet, and uh, you know, don't hold your breath on the next one. You, s you see how to make them now, so if you want to use them, make some of your own. All right, uh, see you again soon.